Welcome, Oakland County EMS providers, to Section 8 of the System Protocols. Just a couple of notes here for you to keep in mind while you're listening to this section. Many of the protocol numbers in Section 8 have changed to match the state numbering scheme. So what that means is, is there were many protocols that the state had and that Oakland County had, but the numbers didn't match. So what we did was we took our protocols and changed the numbers so they matched the corresponding state of Michigan protocol. With that, that means that there is no protocol 8.4, 8.5, 8.8, and 8.17. Today, covering this section with all of you, is Bonnie Kincaid, the Oakland County Medical Control Authority Executive Director, and me, John Toit, the Oakland County Medical Control Authority System Manager. Hi, everybody. Back again for Section 8. Bonnie, tell us about Protocol 8.1. 8.1 is called the downgrade of response, and this is formally the OCMCA protocol 8.6, cancellation downgrade of the call policy. And the only thing that was really added here is that a first party caller was added to the list of entities that can cancel an EMS response. So that's new. So you need to pay attention to that piece. And then protocol 8.2 is the patient prioritization and use of lights and sirens. This is a combination of, of our former protocols 8.24 and 8.34. There's really no change to these protocols. Just is formatted a little bit differently. Adding in the patient prioritizations with what the lights and sirens response or usage should be. Our next protocol is 8.3 transportation. This protocol has been a staple for us in Oakland County for decades now, and we keep making it better as we go along. There's really no changes. It used to be called 8.33 transportation protocol, but now it's 8.3. And the dispatch protocol. Protocol 8.6, formerly known as Protocol 8.10. There has been no change to this protocol from our previous protocols. So far, John, this has been pretty easy for our providers, but there are some big changes in this section, so we will get to those. But we want you to see every single protocol and what possible changes have been, or even if it's been called something different. So now we're on to 8.7 ALS to BLS transfer care. This has also been an Oakland County protocol that we made no changes to except for the numbering system, which, which was formerly known as 8.2. The next protocol is protocol 8.9, which was formerly protocol 8.1. Again, no changes to this protocol. The next protocol is just a combination of our old protocols. So 8.10, infection control and communicable diseases is a combination of our old 8.5, 8.7, and 8.18. Protocol 8.11. This is a new protocol, immunization and testing. This allows the opportunity for paramedics in specific situations to be able to immunize patients and provide TB testing. Protocol 8.12, communications with emergency facility. Again, an old protocol for us, but we have a new number. It used to be 8.8 .8, and there's no changes. Protocol 8.13, the electronic records and EMS system. This protocol was originally part of protocol 7.15 and there is no change to this excerpt from that part of 7.15. That brings us to 8.14, protected health information. This is formally our 8.16. And John, did that title change from our 8.16? Yes, Bonnie, this was formerly the HIPAA protocol. I thought so, thanks. 8.15, interfacility transfers. This was formerly 8.19. 
this protocol, there is some changes. It's allowed BLS transports a little bit more in their scope of what they can transport. And the Oakland County Medical Control has checked all the boxes so that BLS crews can transfer all of these types of patients. And then there was some added information about accompanying staff when agencies might not be trained up to a certain level or whatever the situation might be that a staff member might need to go along. If you do interfacility transfers, you might wanna look at this part of the protocol. This protocol is also going back to the protocol committee. Oakland County Medical Control Authority does not have the enhanced paramedic interfacility critical care protocol. So we're gonna work on striking out that language. And then there's just some notes about the special treatment, high flow nasal oxygen at the end of this. There's a whole protocol that discusses that. And that brings us to 8.16, license level requirement of attending during transport. This is an important protocol always, but we did have a documentation note added to this. And that is where an appropriate licensed health professional designated by a physician with an established patient relationship may be present in the patient compartment of the ambulance in place of EMS staffing. And this is according to our statute 333.20921, section six. Agency and EMS personnel criteria for participation. Formerly protocol 8.1, and there is no changes to this protocol. Then we have on-scene physician interaction 8.19, which is formally R8.25. This one is kind of a rewrite. There's significant changes in here. So we need to have all our providers review this protocol. Protocol 8.20, protocol deviation, formerly protocol 8.26. So the state of Michigan made a couple of changes to this protocol. The first is all deviations performed without online medical control approval must be reported to the medical control authority. Again, as we stated in the introduction, protocols are not suggestions, they are law. You're given the opportunity to work and do things without a doctor present because you have standing orders. If you deviate from those standing orders without online medical control, you must report it to the medical control within 24 hours. All reported deviations will be reviewed by the Medical Controls Professional Standard Review Organization. That's our PSRO, and we'll talk about our PSRO policy going forward. 8.21, Violent Chemical Hazardous Scene. This was formerly our protocol 8.35. And on this one, just some information was added about scenes that are not secure. So read through those three, A, B, and C, just to make sure you understand what this one's talking about. Protocol 8.22, Medical Examiner Notification and Body Disposition. This was another one that was part of another protocol. This was part of Protocol 7.6. It just made sense to move it out of 7.6 and put it into the system section. It's not something we run into very often. So just be familiar with this process. And really in Oakland County, it's notify the police. That brings us to 8.23, formerly 8.30, safe delivery of newborns. Really the only change here is that a line was added reminding crews that if someone surrenders a baby to a staffed ambulance, your dispatch should be notified. Protocol 824, complaint investigation resolution formerly protocol 8.27.1. If you have a protocol deviation that you've done without online medical direction, this is the protocol you're going to want to look at to see what the process is to review that incident with the PSRO. Then this brings us to 8.25, disciplinary action appeal. Again, you'd want to read through this if you're ever called into PSRO. This was formerly our 8.27.2. There have not been any changes made to this protocol. Protocol 8.26, 
EMS provider criminal charges and convictions. This protocol just states that if you've been arrested, charged, or convicted with a criminal felony or misdemeanor, you shall contact the MCA and advise them of the situation. And Bonnie, protocol 8.27. This is the PSRO protocol. That one hasn't even changed the number. So there's been no changes to this protocol. Protocol 8.28, evidentiary blood draw, formerly protocol 8.15. There is no change to this protocol. So that brings us to 8.100, the Bennett Bill upgrade. This is an Oakland County specific protocol. And that's why the number 100 has been introduced so that we know the state numbers versus Oakland County protocols only. So this was formerly our 8.50. Protocol 8.101. This protocol was formerly 8.51. There is only one change to this protocol. And again, this is an Oakland County specific protocol. When on hospital property, the EMS provider cannot transport to another hospital without physician notification and medical screening exam from the current location. For documentation, note the physician name that did the screening exam. This has to do with EMTALA. It's a law that EMS providers don't usually know a lot about, but it affects the hospitals greatly. And whenever you have a patient that is on hospital property, you have to check with a physician at that hospital prior to leaving that property. 8.102, another Oakland County only protocol, and it's called the Alternative EMS Response Team Protocol. This was formerly 8.4, and there's no changes to this protocol at all. This is protocol 8.103, the OCMCA approved medical abbreviations list. There has been no changes to our approved abbreviations. That brings us to 8.104, response time standards. And this was formerly 8.13, and there's no changes that were made to this protocol. And this is the equipment protocol, 8.105. EMS providers and administrations, you should look at this protocol. It's been restructured, but really hasn't changed. Peek at this one, make sure that you're covered. Obviously, you have to keep with the state approved list for your vehicles. Now we come to our mutual aid policy, 8.106. It was formerly 8.22. There have been no changes made to this. We did discuss changes in the past, and they were not approved by the state. So we went back to our original mutual aid policy. The next one is protocol 8.107, the new and upgraded EMS agency policy. There has been no change to this protocol for this new suite, formerly known as protocol 8.23. And for the providers, 8.108 EMS research policy doesn't really affect you. It was formerly 8.27.7. There's no changes to it. It's just if anybody wants to do research in our county, they have to abide by this protocol. Protocol 8.109. This is the Professional Standards Review Organization confidentiality statement. Anything that goes to the PSRO is confidential and cannot be leaked. And so we make everybody sign an agreement and that has to be in a protocol. That was formerly protocol 8.27.8. And 8.110, our rerouting policy has no changes to it either, but it was formerly 8.29. Protocol 8.111, scene patient management. No changes to this protocol. This was formerly protocol 8.31, if you want to take a look at it. 8.112, tactical EMS. This was formerly 8.37, and there's no changes to it whatsoever. And last but certainly not least, the Medical Control and Participating Hospital Policy, Protocol 8.13. There has been no changes to this protocol. Thank you all for listening today to this section. The next section is Section 9. And that does it, John. That's our system protocols. Absolutely.